Hello and welcome to Arbol Meadows, your one-stop channel for all things aerial RC and sometimes uh, crafts, other crafts. Um, today we're going to be talking about uh, FPVing with your QNAM Nova and a simple, a simple setup uh, that I used. I am not going to be using this for aerial photography, so I don't need a, a fancy gimbal on the bottom. I just want to go up there and sightsee with a with a camera. And so I have this little mini camera that I purchased from Banggood, and I'll, I'll give you a link to that. Uh, and I just simply installed it right in the case. Now there is a bit of a wash from the prop, but the props are white, and I really don't notice it notice it that much. So uh, for those of you that are probably saying to yourself, "Well, why didn't you put it down lower?" The problem is that the battery goes in on the bottom side here, and I was concerned of uh, rough landings, that the battery will just ram right into the uh, camera. Uh, and also, I need that space there for the larger batteries, so that um, if I put a camera in, and if it takes up any space there, some of the batteries I purchased on this, the uh, 3 amp and the 2.7 amp, just won't fit in anymore. So I had to compromise, and I went for, went for looks. Now when I initially put in the uh, video transmitter component, so the camera fitted, it fits in nice, uh, when I put in the video transmitter, I installed the video transmitter right here at the dome, and I put my antenna right here. The problem was, is I had a lot of interference uh, with the compass, which is right underneath here, okay? Lots of interference, I couldn't get a GPS lock. I, oh boy, I should have I should have thought of that. To be honest with you, that seems so obvious. I was going for having a really good look. And then I said, well, that won't work. So I put a little hole in the side of the case here. And for putting in holes, I use this uh, Hobbyco, this Hobbyco um, uh, hot knife. Uh, I use it for cutting foam, plastic, yeah, anything like that. It does a great job. And what it does is when you melt this type of plastic, I think this is ABS, it actually leaves a nice ridge that uh, reinforces uh, the, uh, the hole. So uh, you get a bonus by using, by using that knife and then cutting it with a, uh, cutting with a, with a hot knife because it leaves a nice, a nice reinforced edge all the way around. And obviously it does weaken it, but it, it does have some reinforcement. So then what I did is I put a hole out the side. I thought, well, maybe it's just the antenna near the compass. So my video transmitter is still inside. Put my antenna out uh, out here. I thought that should work. Well, it kind of worked. Uh, I did get the GPS lock sometimes, but I would lose it as well. So I was a bit concerned that the equipment, uh, the the um, the video transmitter was a bit too close uh, to the GPS and compass. So what I ended up doing is putting the video transmitter outside. It's not interfering with the uh, GPS or the compass. So, uh, as mentioned before, I tried to put the uh, receiver antenna on the top. Interfered with the uh, compass and GPS. Tried to do it out the side, but I kept the uh, video transmitter inside. Still interfered with the GPS. I could not solve it until I moved the video transmitter to the outside. It's not my ideal. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, but. Um, I tested it and I get my GPS lock and my video transmission works perfectly now. Uh, so uh, I just thought I'd share this uh, with you as to what I went through just to make a quick, a quick FPV uh, machine. Uh, I use this nice braided uh, wire cover to cover all the wires. I got the, the tip on how to do this from a friend of mine in our club, Mike Coltis, who showed me how to uh, uh, use this braided. Uh, it's you think it's easy, but it's not that easy. Uh, again, I use a hot hot knife to help me out, and uh, so that gives a really nice look down the side. Uh, so that's it for this video on uh, on installing a, a FPV, a camera, and a video transmitter into your QNAM Nova, uh, so you can enjoy the uh, enjoy the scenery. Uh, this has been a dead-on reliable machine. Uh, very impressed. Um, I have done some modification to the software, but we'll talk about that in another video. Uh, if you like this video, please say like, and if you want to see more, please subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you next time at Emerald Meadows. Bye-bye for now.